Okay guys, in today's video, I will show you how to make root in this type of egg. This, this is transas. So first, all you have to do is to click this task list. Then click root planning. Now from here, if you want to load your previous root, all you have to do is click this load root. So this is the previous uh, root that you have created. If you want to load a root from here, once you click any root here automatically it will appear on the screen for example i am going to click this one okay so automatically the root is already on the screen so to unload this root all you have to do is click this x okay now let's make a new root okay to make a new root we need to click this new or create a new root. Once I click this one, you will notice that this cursor will change to uh, root uh, uh, editor mode. Okay. So let us click new root. Okay. So now, once I click the left click of my mouse, okay. Now I have my first waypoint. Left click, second, left click, left click, left click. Left click, left click just to add another waypoint, just click, left click, okay? Now, if I want to delete waypoints, okay, all I have to do is click this waypoint editor, then put the cursor on the top of the waypoint that you want to be deleted, then left click of the mouse, then right click left click then right click left click then right click left click then right click if you want to add another waypoint on the leg all you have to do is just put the cursor on the leg then left click left click left click left click left click left click if you want to drag your uh, new waypoint left click then drag the trackball of the mouse then left click left click drag the trackball then left click okay if you want to add some waypoints here on the last waypoint that you have created so just put the cursor on the top then double click the left click of the mouse then you can proceed doing and adding new waypoints if you are finished just double click the right click of the mouse then the cursor will return to normal again okay so if you want to reverse this route go to edit option okay there's a reverse function here you will see this is zero and that is a uh, 13 so just click the reverse so this is now the 13 and that is the zero this is the reverse function okay now from here this is the waypoints you can write here the waypoint ref references okay from here you write for example that is zero then write zero this the one so whatever uh, reference name you want to put on your the on the uh, uh, waypoints okay you can write it here okay this is just an example okay, okay so aside from that if you want to put to put reference point click this one this icon okay then click this reference reference points then put the cursor on the top of the waypoint then left click then uh, trackball adjust the trackball and put it on the reference that you want to take then left click 
then put again on the top of the uh, waypoint then scroll the trackball then go to your reference left click okay because in our passage plan this is included that's why we need to put these reference points left click okay then you can write the name of every uh, reference point for example if this is tower then you can put here tower enter then if it's lighthouse then lighthouse okay, enter now if you want to copy this one here in this uh, uh, next row then all you have to do is double click double left click then right click then copy then double left click then right click then paste double click oh this is the last last one because we we, we already created three okay now if you want to delete a reference point all you have to do is click this reference points then bring the cursor on the top of the uh, waypoint then left click then right click left click and right click okay now you can put also here the remarks for example position fixing interval five minutes Security level one, bridge watch level uh, bridge watch level one, or uh, uh, position method. Uh, for example, it is a, from GPS or a radar or bearing. Uh, you can put it here on the remarks. It will appear on the uh, screen later on. Okay then just enter if you want to copy just double click copy so you don't need to write it one by one just double click then paste okay then paste okay so once you already finish your route so now it's about time for you to check your route Okay, just click this check root then click this button okay then click this uh, accept root checking result would you like to check the voids plan report if you don't want just click the no if you want just click the yes and this one will appear okay if you want to exit this voids uh, report just click this X okay after that, you can change now the name. Double click on this uh, row. Okay. Change the name. For example, uh, testing. Okay. Again, or whatever uh, file name you want to put in this uh, uh, route that you have created. Then just press enter. Every time you see that there is an asterisk there, it means that this route is not yet uh, saved. So you need to click the save. Okay. Now this one is ready for monitoring. So I will click monitoring. Okay. Now the route is in monitor. Then after that, just exit this uh, route that you have created so that the monitored route will be the one appeared on the screen. So just click this X. Okay. Okay. As you can see, we put some name on the reference on the waypoint. But in the monitoring, you can see that it didn't appear so the reason is because of you need to 
make sure from the monitoring uh, window that you need to turn on this waypoint name there you go if you turn it off okay turn it on okay also the course and distance there you go okay because of you if you turn it off okay turn it on also the speed okay also the reference points see that one it appears we remove the uh, other reference then also the remarks this is the one that we have uh, type see position fixing interval 5 minutes security level 1 digital level 1 so if we will turn it off so, okay. so just turn it on okay because you are now in the monitoring uh, mode so you need to turn on all of this uh, button okay now if you want to unload this uh, monitor root all you have to do is go here unload then root and schedule and it will disappear okay okay guys uh, i hope uh, you learned something from this video thank you